We're going to expand this to be a quadratic like standard form x squared plus bx plus c. We're going to expand it out. So you're multiplying, okay? So go slow. All right. I call this arrows, but it's technically foiling, first, outer, inner, last. So look, if you go x times x, you're multiplying. Remember, x1 times x1, you add exponents, so that is x squared, right? Yeah. There is, okay, so x times x is x squared. So now x times 1 is 1x. Remember, it's repetitive multiplication. I'm done with that term because it already multiplied to every term in the second binomial. So now I'm going to take the second term and I'm going to multiply it to each term. So what's 1 times x? 1x. And now what is 1 times 1? 1. And so now you're going to combine like terms. And so what's 1x plus 1x? 2x, yeah, someone said it, plus 1, and that is your beautiful standard form answer. It's perfect. Okay, what's the box method? You get a box. So if the graphic organizer is really nice, give it a chance because whenever we start factoring more difficult ones, not like the ones that was on your test, but more, um, some of you might actually like the box method for factoring. So just keep an open mind to it, okay? All right, I take one of the binomials, it writes in horizontally, I take the other one, it gets filled in vertically, and so now the way it works is each cell is row times column. It's row times column. So you're multiplying, like we did here. It's just, it prevents you from leaving one out, okay? Okay, so what's x times x? x squared x times 1? What's x times 1? one? And then what's 1 times 1? One? 1. Okay, now your like terms will be diagonally. So x squared, 1x plus 1x is 2x, and then there's my constant 1, and I get the exact same answer. It's your preference. It's what you like. It's been loud all day today because the PE keeps walking to get their photos. So, um, yeah, just, I'll stop the video, but yeah, it's going to get If you prefer the box method, just pick your preference. Each cell is row times column. It's a product. 
So x squared, 3x, 2x, and then 3 times 2 is 6, and we'll get the same four terms. And we... Okay, so I'll pause it, I'll pause the video, I'll let you guys work, and then I'll record um, me doing, oh, what number? I think number 10 and like 9 maybe or something. Yeah, and then there's one. Up. It's double-sided, so I'll, I'll make three videos today because I'll pause, do some extra, pause. Okay, all right, let's turn this off.